it is over. Ethereum has just nine days until one of the biggest upgrades really ever to happen, but certainly in a long time to happen, is rolled out on Ethereum. The upgrade has massive implications for the fees being paid on Layer 2. I don't want to tell you exactly what is going on and why you should care. We are, of course, talking about blobs and the coming Den Kun upgrade. This upgrade is putting blockchains like Solana on notice because the fees on Layer 2s are about to drop precipitously. So let's talk about blobs data blobs that is set to release in the second week of march these blobs will completely change how ethereum works in fact it is currently thought listen to this this is crazy that it would decrease fees for ethereum layer twos by a factor of 60 yes 60 that is according to the latest prediction market data which was shared by ethereum founder vitalik buterin and that is even bigger than whatever kind of baby arm Vitalik seems to be packing in his pants here, man. Holy cow. Look, serious talk. This is mega bullish, not just for Ethereum. Blobs will affect everything that's built from or connected with Ethereum. So all the layer two networks, Arbitrum, Optimism, Starknet, Linea, Scroll, blah, 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 will also benefit from massive fee reductions. And the Ethereum layer one main net We'll also see a big drop in competition for block space due to this upgrade, which could provide some big relief for main chain fees too because there were less competition for that block space, meaning there's more ability to have lower fees. We are about to witness a mega bullish game-changing moment for the Ethereum blockchain that will silence all the haters, moving Layer 2, really, to Layer 2 and letting Ethereum main chain do its thing on its own, largely, making it the biggest upgrade since the proof of stake. So sit back, relax, and get those huddle bags ready and make sure you're hodling them harder than even before. Go on $15,000, guys. Just not soon. <laughs> the crazy part about this upgrade, it's only the second part of Vitalik's plan to make Ethereum the fastest and cheapest network available as part of the surge. A lot more stuff coming on the roadmap for Ethereum moving forward, guys. The recently announced Denkun upgrade, short for Cancun Denob, this will introduce the novel idea of proto dank sharding. Dank, brah. Introduced in the Ethereum improvement proposal 4844. Dank sharding is a method proposed by developers to make Ethereum layer twos much, much more efficient and much cheaper to use, which matters to you and me because we like paying cheap fees, don't we? This is all accomplished by allowing the rollups to bypass the need to store all their transaction data on the main Ethereum blockchain, something that's proved to be extremely inefficient and massively cumbersome to the network. Basically, layer twos are clogging the Ethereum main chain right now, and Blobs is working to and intended to dramatically change that situation. Proto dank sharding changes all this by attaching data blobs with a dead on arrival date. So instead of information having to be stored on the Ethereum main chain forever, these blobs are actually deleted after a fixed amount of time. Blobs will replace the standard call data that's used to interact with Ethereum, thus eliminating side chains from having to compete with the Ethereum main chain for gas fees because this data is now relying less on the Ethereum chain. It's relying on the blob. It will significantly reduce the cost of transacting on these layer two networks. Again, a 60X reduction is what the markets are predicting right now, but that's not all. Oh, no, no, no. Because these rollups will also relay less information over to Ethereum. The number of transactions able to settle will also increase dramatically. Using Arbitrum as a great example here, Big Arbitrum bag holder, by the way, is Ethereum bag holder too. You can see my full portfolio disclosure in the description or pin comment on X. Now, the network is currently operating at 6.2 transactions per second. But when Proto Dank sharding is released, Arbitrum will have the ability to achieve 100,000 transactions per second. Yes, you did. You heard that right. I did not misspeak. I said 100,000 transactions per second. And yes, it is insane. Compare this with Solana's 2,600 transactions per second. Of course, their theoretical limit is higher, of course. And this thus makes Arbitrum dramatically faster than Solana. And yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, guys, I know, I know Solana has Fire Dancer coming up. 
which gets it up to 1.2 million transactions a second. Okay, and that's really, really big news. It's like the edge of technical capabilities. But still, this Ethereum upgrade is beating Fire Dancer to the punch. And it's not just Arbitrum, because every single Ethereum roll up in sidechain will now be this fast. Optimism, Linea, Scroll, Starknet, blah, 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 blah. Before we break that down, let me interrupt the flow real quick to let you know about the best newsletter in the cryptocurrency industry. My newsletter is called Wealth Mastery. Every week, we bring you the latest and the hottest and the best money-making insights on airdrops, altcoin news, deep dives on altcoins, NFTs, technical analysis, and much, much more. Join our 100,000-plus weekly readers and sign up for free using the link down below in the description. Okay, back to Ethereum. Look, to be fair, it's not like any network is really creating 100,000 transactions per second right now. It's all theoretical, isn't it? So it's more about Ethereum making it possible to reach that level for the first time. Again, Solana's similar levels, right? With Fire Dance, or even bigger. But being the second largest blockchain and housing all the most used decentralized applications, this happening on Ethereum is a pretty damn big deal. You can't just, of course, flip a switch and hope for the best either. This has been tested for a long time. Obviously, that's what test nets are for. Starting off with Gorly, which is Ethereum's oldest active test net, developers rolled out the first Denkun upgrade last January. So they've been testing this for a very, very long time. Projects operating their test nets on Gorly felt an immediate boost, which again is why we're seeing a prediction market saying a 60x increase or decrease in fees. After weeks with no issues, of course, then it was time to upgrade to the main chain, right? No, no, no. Now it's time to launch on Ethereum's other test nets. They have multiple test nets for redundancy to make sure everything's actually working. There's billions of dollars on the line. They can't screw it up. So they went on to Sepalia and Whole Sky next. Beginning the last month, both these networks received the Denkun upgrade. Everything's going swimmingly so far, meaning that blobs have been fully operational since the beginning of the year. Blobtastic. But only active testnet participants have been able to enjoy this newest upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain tech stack. And that's for good reason, because each upgrade carries the potential to absolutely wreak havoc on the network if it's not properly tested. Remember, everything happening on Ethereum is like, a, I got five car moving at 500 kilometers an hour and you're changing the engine constantly. But they do it. They pull it off. This is all an essential part of upgrading Ethereum's tech stack. Only after the successful release of Denkun on all three test nets was the release date of Denkun finalized, set to launch March 13th. This marks two years of development since Denkun was first introduced way back at ETH Denver conference in 2022. We discussed blobs, of course, which are widely considered the most important part of the Denkun upgrade. But but the truth is, is that Denkun will introduce nine separate and very important advancements to Ethereum's consensus and overall execution layers. The entire upgrade's massive, while well, the blobs get most of the attention. Most important other things being, though, improvement 6780, which changes failed self-destruct features used to clean up unneeded code bases. We have uh, EIP improvement proposal 5656, allowing developers to copy memory from one location to another, helping to build more reliable data structures. We have 7044, which improves the staking user experience, especially for users of delegated staking solutions like Lido Finance. We have 7045, which doubles the number of slots that validate are being given, allowing for even faster confirmation times for each Ethereum block. We have 4788, which puts Ethereum beacon chain uh, block root directly in the execution layer, giving Ethereum thus a built-in Oracle operating at the base layer. We have 7514, which changes Ethereum's monetary policy and alters the growth of total ETH staked, thus preventing consensus layer bloat. We have 1153, which will provide more gas-efficient solutions to storage by discarding any unnecessary information that's coming out at the end of each transaction, keeping things efficient. Well, protodank sharding and blobs obviously are getting media's center of focus to this upgrade because it is very important. It's probably the most exciting part of it, right? But it's the combination of all these important changes that make Denkun one of Ethereum's most important upgrades that we have seen really to date. 
And that's because while the largest pool of dApps in money is held on Ethereum, it still has the least amount of daily transactions when compared to the really big major networks right now. And it's not because Ethereum is too slow or doesn't have enough liquidity. Nah, man, <laughs> it's because it's too damn expensive to use. Remember, not everybody in crypto has been here for years. New users are joining this financial revolution every single damn day. And when they see how much money it costs for just one trade on Ethereum, they puke in their mouth a little bit, and then they go over and start using Solana. It makes no financial sense for any beginner to explore the network and pay $70 for a swap on Uniswap or $120 to buy an NFT. It's absurd. The Denkun upgrade will change this by allowing new users to enjoy what we already love about Ethereum cheaply. Thus, of course, letting them enjoy that strong, dedicated community, that ease of use, the limitless applications all built on layer two and the all around breeding ground of crypto innovation, which Ethereum has always been. Goldman Sachs already out here calling the Den Kuhn upgrade a step toward a scalable settlement layer future for Ethereum. Thus, of course, begging the question, what happens to networks like Celestia and others that have built their identities on creating faster finality on Ethereum? Obviously, they're all going to get, well, faster, which is good. Good, good for everybody. But how much value will a roll-up be worth if its main utility is something that every single side chain can actually do? Or that Ethereum can do natively at some point? Afraid that's something only time can really, really answer for us. But regardless, this is a big moment for Ethereum. Layer 2 fees are going to drop dramatically in just a very short amount of time. And it's a really good thing for everybody using Ethereum. Ethereum Layer 2 is now going to be more competitive. In fact, they're going to be so competitive, they're going to be competing with the likes of Solana and other hot new networks like Say and Sui. And Ethereum main chain is also going to benefit in a variety of ways, but even from blobs, just for a reduction of competition for that block space, which could have a carry-on effect for fees on the main chain. Don't fade Ethereum.